Hi everybody, this is Pam Coey. I'm in my studio and today I'm going to be experimenting with mounting an encaustic monotype onto an ampersand panel. Uh, I've been trying with various ways to present the work and framing behind glass is definitely an option and uh, it looks really nice and everything, but I, whenever I can avoid working with glass and mats and frames, that's always my preference. So um, I think I've tried this in the past, but this is a different kind of paper and I'm gonna use a heat gun instead of um, you know, a torch, obviously, because it is paper. And what I'm gonna do is put a couple layers of beeswax on an encaustic board first, and then I'm going to try to adhere my monoprint onto the surface. So that's what this video is about. So wish me luck. I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, my main concern would be that the delicate lines in this monoprint, like up here, that they would blur when I adhere with the heat gun. And so that's always the concern because uh, this type of wax on the paper has no Demar resin, so it's very delicate. That's what monotype waxes often are, is um, especially the ones I use, they're beeswax plus pigment, and so they're, um, they're delicate marks. So we'll see what happens. So I'm using an encaustic board here. It's one of my favorite surfaces for encaustic. This one is 16 by 16, and I took the uh, plastic off the top but then what I often like to do is keep the plastic on the sides and the back. And you can see how I've taped it so that the, the plastic, the original plastic that was around the panel, is still around the sides. And I just taped it so that it catches the plastic and keeps the sides and back nice and clean. My beeswax has heated up and I want to make sure that the temperature is right. Make sure it's not too hot. Okay, so I think we're good. So I'm going to apply a couple layers of this, just straight beeswax. Goes on beautifully onto this encaustic board panel. I'm using a nice wide, I think this might be a uh, six inch hockey brush. And I do list all of my favorite resources and mark making tools on my resource page at artandsuccess.com. I think I have the hockey brushes listed there. So I'm just gonna put a nice layer of that and then I'm going to heat it in. It's a propane torch. And one of my favorite things about this kind of encaustic board is that uh, there are minimal pinholes and for anybody who's worked with encaustic knows uh, what that means. Some people don't mind them and even like them, but there are these little holes that come from the air that arises from the panel. But this is done, um, encaustic board is clay board, and so oftentimes I think that might be one of the reasons why you just don't get the the same number of pinholes that you would normally get. So I turned the board around, I rotated it 90 degrees, and now since it's still warm, i put a second layer on there. Okay, now while this is um, hot, I want to put down the print, and I have cut out the uh, outline of it so that hopefully it'll lay flat. I'm waiting for this to not be glossy so that I have some chance to move it around. Uh, so it's cool enough, I think, where I can at least lay it down, get it into position. Um, okay, so that's step one, is just getting it into place. That looks pretty good. I kind of creased the edges where I wanted it and great. So now from the center out, I'm going to push it. And what I want to do is put some parchment or wax paper over the surface and continue to just like try and press this into the wax like that. Still really warm. I can feel it with my fingertips and it 
really push it into that hot wax. That's step one in getting this to really adhere. And we got these wax underneath it, and I haven't used the heat gun yet, so pay attention to the edges, and then I'm going to burnish with a tool like a spoon or anything you want to burnish, but you really want to spend quite a bit of time burnishing into the warm wax. Get the edges, corners. And you really want to take your time doing this. experiment I could try is like if I really push this into the really warm wax which is what I'm doing would that be enough to hold it in place I don't know I kind of doubt it but it'd be really nice if that's all I had to do so again paying special attention to the edges and corners that's where it would first come undone I mean, it does, you know, the paper is so thin that I almost feel like it, it does stick pretty well. And then the question is, you know, like how well? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. every square inch of this. Okay, so I think that that should be pretty good. So I'm going to just turn it on to the medium heat. Okay, that looks like a pretty good job. Um, I know you can't really see, but I can see sort of as the wax has seeped uh, from the underside to the surface that there is a, a change that I can see that you probably can't see. But if I put this over the top now and really, again, burnish the edges and corners, because now the wax has permeated through the underside to the surface of the print, um, it should really be adhered now. Plus I'm burnishing here in the more white spaces um, without trying to go over these 
mark areas too much. I don't want to disturb that too much, but just making sure that these edges are nice and firm. 